Well, let's try this again, guys. Hello, you guys, and how are you today? I was a little enthusiastic, don't you think? I need to bring it back here a toach. A, a skosh, not a toach. Anyways, guys, welcome back to my channel. This is my 13 by 30 update. I don't know if you've noticed, but I am back in my bedroom filming. Ah, my son is finally in his own room, which I am very, very sad about. But I'm also really excited to be back here to film because I like this a lot better. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and get an update on my products. First thing first, my Escada perfume. I'm actually really, really excited. We are getting down there. Let me tell you. Let me just spray a little right now. In fact, all right. So yeah, we are getting super, super close here. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see, but this is just a tiny little bit. I'm gonna have this done by Halloween, no problem. Over FX Illuminating Primer Base. Oh, it's a lot lower than I thought. Let me mark it. The lighting in here, you guys, is so much better. So I've definitely used this Cover FX Illuminating Primer a skosh, but not nearly this much that it's going to show. So that's where it actually is. I've used it a couple times, but really not a whole lot. So, well, I'm doing better on that than I thought I would. I'm expecting to use that more come September, and I expect to be able to use that up pretty much all of September and October, to be honest. Okay, where is Too Faced Lip Injection? Still right there. I have not used this bad boy at all. I just haven't. When I've been putting lipstick on, it's been like last minute in the car, I need something to wear. Not really like think ahead, put on my lip injection and go. So still think I can pretty easily use this up. I just need to remember to whip this out more often. So is kind of funny. I can't remember which way I labeled this. I think it must have been this way. So this is uh, this is my RCMA No Color Powder and I'm like I'm a little ways down. I've been using this a lot. Yeah but see it looks like I'm still the same. <laughs> I don't know guys. I have been using this and I feel like I'm at least a tiny bit down. Let me just mark it here. So, so right there. I've been trying to remember to bake uh, when I know it's going to be a long day because I know that uses a ton of product when I do that. But uh, yeah, I really like my Cover FX powder a lot better now, of course. But anyways, yeah, just trying to use this bad boy up. I do not think I'm going to get it done by, the, by Halloween, but I would like to have it pretty stinking close by then. Um, okay, benefits. What's up? Are you guys ready for this? <sighs> Look at that. You can't roll it up any more. Look at how close I am. It's just the tiniest little indent. <laughs> I've realized the key to the success of finishing this is putting it on your collarbone and shoulders. Like just dousing yourself in it. That is the key to using a lot of this. Okay, oh, here we go. So I was going to try out this Cougar Diamond Kiss Mineral Face and Body Shimmer. To see if I want to keep it. I don't want to keep it. I decided I don't like the color that much. It's only okay to me. So I am going to go ahead and probably just toss it. To be honest, I don't think anybody I know would really like this. So this for me is out. Okay. Eve Pearl Concealer. Uh, I need to go ahead and put a picture of my before so you guys can see it. But I think I'm doing pretty well with this. Definitely using it. Um, I'm not using the concealer side as much right now since I am more tan and it looks really awkward when I do. But I've definitely been doing the um, salmon side to help with my under eye circles. I didn't today, of course, because I forgot. But yeah, when I remember, I have been using this, so I will try to remember to take a snapshot of my previous film so I can look at the before and after, and so that you guys can as well. But I think I will have this done, no problem, by Halloween. 
All right, Makeup Forever HD Foundation. Really nice how you can't see it all, but I have been using this, so. I don't know, I've been using it. It's not out. <laughs> Sorry guys, I wish I could give you a better report, but there we go. So I managed to scrape a little bit on the side and it's just a teeny tiny little bit below that initial blue line I made. Not much. So I'm going to make a teeny tiny little mark here. My initial mark was more of a guess, so I feel like that's more of now I know where I'm at. Hopefully I can finish this by Halloween. It is so yellow. I will not be able to, I cannot wear this guy unless I am a little bit tan. Even then, it's so yellow for me. Uh, so I have to mix it. Like I'm, this one is, should be completely gone, but I keep taking it out and like rubbing it on my hands so I can mix it with the yellow one because that one's too pink, that one's too yellow. I'm very neutral toned and companies need to get together and realize that people need neutral colors. They don't need yellow and pink always. We need both. Alright, so this is my Bexum lip foundation thingamajig. So I started up here and now I am down here. So I am now down here. So I've been using that pretty good here. So I'm thinking I should have this done pretty much no problem. By. So I really am hoping I can use this up by end of August. Here's how much of the lipstick itself that I have left. So not a whole lot, and it's such a dry formula, I can use it. You have to use a lot when you use it. So hoping end of August I can finish that up. Okay, I had an, a perfume. Uh, it was the Indigo. It's a Nest Company. I can't find it at the exact momento. At this exact moment, but I can tell you I have not used it all uh, since... Uh, oh, there it is. Okay. Here it is. I have not used it at all since I filmed because I've been working on my Stinkin Escada one. So, once that's up, I'm moving to this bad boy and using this up hopefully by Halloween as well. Alright, then we have got Hourglass Mineral Veil. Let me mark this thing here. So it's really not much different because you use such a I have been using this. It's my favorite primer. Uh, so this is where I started and this is where I'm at. It's such a slow moving, you only need the tiniest little bit primer that I don't know if I'll finish this by Halloween. I would like to because this is getting old. It'll be two years in November so it needs to be used up. So I'm trying to use this all the time. Um, but see during the week, 99% of the days or five out of seven days, I use my CC cream because I don't need a full coverage foundation. So, and I just mix that with moisturizer. So anyways, my point being, I don't use my mineral veil very often. I am trying to use it more. And as we get more into fall, I will definitely use it more. So this is where it's at. I think I marked the lid last time. Yes, I did. Oh, hey, I made a little bit of a difference. I don't know if you can see that. It's not a whole heck of a lot here, I'll mark it. A little, a little difference there. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, I would like to finish this up again by November, obviously Halloween. I'm definitely surprised by that one, because I do use that pencil quite often, but it's been slow, slow moving. Okay, and then last one, and then the one that I'm rotating in. So I'm trying to use up my Anastasia Brow Gel as well. Obviously, I can't really mark this, but I've had this again. It'll be two years in November. So I need to use this bad boy up. So what I have been doing lately, because I've found I like a color gel, uh, brow gel better. So what I have been doing is I've been using my Anastasia Brow Definer. And then I go in with Benefit Gimme Brow to like make it fuller, and then that one doesn't hold very well, so then I go over it with this one, and then my brows hold much better. So that's what I've been doing. And then the last product is like, it was number 14, but now it's moved in since I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that Cougar highlighter 
thing. This one is moving right along. It's my Mac Pro Longwear in NC25. I got this last summer because uh, I thought maybe it would work better for me in the summer. Way, way yellow and I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. So anyways guys, that has moved along very, very well so far. Hoping to finish it by end of September even because that, because end of September my tan will be pretty much gone. So really in all reality, I would like to be done with this by mid-September or so. I mean, maybe we'll have kind of an extended summer, but we'll see. So I think that is everything for my 13 by Halloween. Yeah, I'm pretty excited with my progress in most of these products. I think the only one I'm not is my Too Faced Lip Injection. So, not bad. Not bad. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know if there's any products you are working on or if you are doing this 13 by Halloween. I think it's a fun um, way to motivate yourself. I'll have my intro, my intro video linked down below as well if you're curious as to why I stopped doing the monthly project pan. Um, yeah, anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!